Yo, what's up? In this video, I'm going to measure the temperature in the footwell. We have behind me here the 2021 Tesla Model 3. Uh, let's go inside. It's raining outside, but I'm going to show you what the plan is. I have now preheated this car. Well, I've been using this car a little bit tonight and I also kept it warm now. Keep climate on. I preheated MC Hammer. That's a 2013 Tesla Model 3. And let's go inside. It's raining a little bit. So let me just get the get the feel when it gets inside here. Um, oh, what the heck? Well, good YMCA, but uh, maybe not right now. So, yes, this car has been, I've been driving it all day actually to Yale and back again. I also drove a little bit in the evening and then it's been staying warm with keep, clam, keep climate on. Set at 21 degrees Celsius auto, you see? And uh, we will measure the, the foot well. I'm gonna adjust a little bit and get ready. Okay, this is a bit weird. I had to film my own FLIR camera here, but uh, yeah, so just do it like this, it works. So you see, let's check interior here, see? The FLIR gives it rough temperature, that surface temperature is around 24, 25. Let's check the seat here, you see, 22. Um, but in the footwell area here, we don't need a reading here. It seems to be 28. Yeah, okay. 29. Right where the wind, where, when the hot air blows out, it's 32. But you don't usually poke your feet there. Let me check the driver's side then. Uh, here you see my feet, my hot feet. Oh yeah, okay. So my, my jeans here, my crotch. You want to see my crotch? Well, it's hot, uh, it's cold there. Oh shit. Okay, anyway. Um, but here, 28, yeah, you see, okay, 28, but it doesn't feel that warm because, uh, yeah, I, I mean, it feels nice and tempered. Let me see, what about steering wheel? Do we have steering wheel heater? No, okay, 28, just giving you guys a little impression of what it, what it looks like in here. So you see, the whole interior feels nice and warm. It's around 24 degrees Celsius. We check the roof. The roof might be a little bit warmer because, because hot air rises. Yeah, 25. Okay, okay. So we got, I think we got some good readings now. Let me see what about the dashboard here. Okay, so the, the air goes up there, uh, out there, 35 something. So anyway, the one, the one we're looking for is this one, roughly 30. Okay, let's uh, move over to the other car. You see it's minus 11 degrees Celsius. I've been out for a spin uh, since last year. I've been driving a little bit. I've been testing some stuff. So I went to minus 15 at the coldest. But uh, here we have the thermal camera. I updated it to the new one now. This is FLIR 1 Pro. So it costs 450 euros. There's a new, new version is uh, for USB-C. So, you know, uh, it's a, a somewhat accurate uh, tool to measure temperature and also to visualize it. And let me show you here what the, the problem in this car is. You saw in the previous uh, clip that uh, if everything is okay, we should get somewhat even temperature, right? But over here, see, uh, kind of hard to read, but that's f over 40 degrees Celsius on that foot. Well, this one seems to be warmer. It's just boiling hot here. Look at that. 40, 47, almost 50 degrees. 47 degrees, what about over here? Uh, oh, let me see, let me see 50, let me see 50. Oh yeah, 50 degrees Celsius. That is just insane how hot it is. Uh, yeah. And just to show you that the rest of the interior is not that hot. For example, over here at the door, we have only 20 degrees. On the seat here, only 20 degrees. So you see, this is the problem because uh, it's nice and it's an okay temperature. Okay, every time you see that lag, it's just that the camera is calibrating. But for the rest of the cabin, it's okay temperature. Okay, maybe over here, yeah, you see. So, uh, it's been set to 21 degrees Celsius automatic, just like in the other car. But this car, for some reason, has way too hot footwell. And the problem is the, the temp sensor. So 
Uh, after, okay, after I went to the service center, I'm gonna show you here, you see this one here is the center console and it's the old version. And uh, Tesla, okay, first let me show you. Here we have a temp sensor. In the new car, it's slightly different. It's like a grill, but it's still, the temp sensor is still there. So Tesla noticed that I had this lid up like this. So this is the old version uh, where you can put your phone there. Uh, but you can also open this one. I, I always open it like this because then it's easier to access the USB port to put bigger items in here. Uh, let's say uh, you see this is this is the nice feature with the old ones. You can you can put a big camera right in here, no problem. Uh, so Wi-Fi also likes to put her purse in there. Uh, but Tesla claims that. See, let me try to show you better. If I go on this side, maybe uh, I don't know if you can see it there. Kind of, yeah. So Tesla claimed that because I have this lid up then it blocks the temp sensor and they have a long ass explanation about this and I was thinking ah oh, well okay uh, whatever I think they know what they're talking about so I did the experiment actually prior to shooting this video I also tried to preheat the car with the lid down I tried many many different variations and uh, it doesn't help really uh, lid down or lid up makes almost no difference and even yeah i can feel it's kind of hot uh, warm here now so you know yeah the problem is that the footwell gets extremely hot like you've seen uh, i wouldn't i don't mind 28 degrees in the footwell but 45 to 50 degrees what we saw here is just un almost unbearable and you can say well why don't you just tap down lower the lower the temperature well Remember, it's minus 11. On the way back home here, I try to lower the temperature. What happens then? It becomes colder the, on the rest of the car, except for the, well, the footwell then, it's still kind of hot. So what you want to do is to run it at 21. And then what, okay, you can say, well, but why don't you just uh, use manual, switch off this one, this one. Yeah, the, the problem when you do that one is that it, it tends to also, uh, when you do manual, it tends to override some of the other automatic settings like the, the automatic, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, recirculation and also the fan speed because you sometimes you want to actually have the fan speed on automatic to crank up the heat and then lower it down again. And especially when you, when you run this preheating via the app, if it's locked on manual, it stays locked on manual. Sometimes you actually want it when you preheat that this fan speed goes up to eight or 10 in the beginning and then it, it slows down. So I want to keep it on manual, but the manual is kaput, which is niche good. So apparently this is not a problem only for my car. It's supposed to be a common problem on many cars. And you know, this is not the first time Tesla has bad quality on the temp sensor. The reason why many cars with heat pump nowadays fail is because the, the temp sensor f partly fails and then that gives false readings to the, the, the car and then it actually totally shuts down the, the heater, the heat pump. Uh, so actually, yeah, so, so you know, that's the problem, uh, at least for today's car with heat pump. But I also believe that this could also be a problem with the previous generation. So, um, I don't know where they get the temp sensor from, but uh, yeah, and also, uh, okay, so it wasn't normally in summer, I don't feel it that much, but it seems like in winter now, the car is trying to overcompensate for the, the cold weather, and then it just cranks up the heat, and I actually noticed this also last year, but then I was thinking, nah, no big deal, I guess, uh, until I tried the new car, and I felt like, oh, this is how it's supposed to be, wow. So that's why I also realized that many people, many other people might also have this problem, existing Model 3 owners. And there was one guy, I think he's from Germany or something. He mentioned that he had a problem with his car. He went to the service center and they found out what, what the problem was. And there was actually a faulty temp sensor for the footwell or something. After he got that replaced, his 
cabin temperature in the footwell and the whole rest of the car was nice and even, just like with the new car I showed you earlier. So I believe that's the case here also. And I'm actually it's a bit surprised why Tesla didn't fix this because Tesla, they have a global uh, database for issues. And if something like this occurs, they should just be able to search it, footwell something, you know, and then they should find it. The, the similar case and then there's also a solution for it what parts need to be replaced so i don't know why they didn't find it this time so uh and also another problem <laughs> just look here okay again it's 11 degrees celsius minus 11. look at that energy consumption it's just insane insanely high it shouldn't be 3.5 kilowatt this is even higher than the, the ID3, you know, the ID3 people are laughing at us now. So this is, it's just because it tries to cook me in the footwell. So um, I'm not too happy with this. So I'm going to make this video, well, you guys are watching it now, but uh, I'm going to make a not yet another appointment with Tesla. But this time I will link to this video and they can look into the, the video because, you know, this this thing here is not a toy. It costs 450 euros and it can visualize it and also measure the temperature somewhat accurate surface temperature. So, okay, what I want to ask you guys is if you have a Model 3 and you also feel like your footwell is hot, okay, you might not have this kind of tool, but at least if you just use a home thermometer or something and try to document this, and we, we want to make it visual now that more and more people are having this problem and that Tesla, they need to take me and other people seriously because, I mean, is it a, that big of a deal? Yeah, it's a slightly cumbersome, you know. I don't like 50 degrees Celsius in my footwell. So I hope they can fix this. And actually, this is not the first time I see people having trouble with the cars, with Teslas. And then Tesla service center, they just, I don't know, they, they ignore this case or they just tell the customer that, no, it, it's, it works like that. It's designed to be like that or they, there's nothing wrong with it. There is something wrong with my footwell. It's not supposed to be 50 degrees Celsius in here. So, yeah, and also like I'm showing you guys, another by, pro, by effect of this is that it seems like that also the consumption goes up and that could also become a problem when you're driving cold weather and, and you actually need that range and then the car is just overcompensating. So, no, they have to fix this. And I want to know who else got this problem. Make it visible in this video. Make a mass, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> Uh, in Norwegian, master sucks more. No, but uh, no, we're not gonna. We're not gonna. But okay, just make. Uh, just tell me if you also have the problem. I want to know who, how many people have the problem, and I, m there might also be some people out there who were not aware of this. And then once you realize it, then you should also get it fixed. Yeah. But okay, I think that's gonna be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching, and talk to you later.